the final day of the Tour of the Basque Country. Always a tough challenge, but Ibar to Ibar, just 137.8 kilometers, absolutely peppered with mountains along the way. This is going to be a big test. There are no easy days on the Tour of the Basque Country, but this 62nd edition has been completely dominated by Jonas Vingago. And so it was, it was going to draw out a big response from the pack. And we had a high quality breakaway off and up the road, including Ruben Guerrero, of course, ultimately designed to work for Enric Mas. Esteban Chavez was there, plying their way, spearing through the enthusiastic fans that characterise this part of the world. Also up front was Steven Kreisweig and this man, Attila Valter. Well, he was ultimately to offer his back wheel to Jonas Vingago, who was having a magic carpet ride as Bahrain victorious turned themselves inside out, trying to chase down a breakaway that included, of course, those two teammates of Vingago. Could they put pressure on the race leader sufficient enough to blow him up? The answer was no. Mara Schmidt was amazing. Minor places up for grabs on the overall podium and on the descent he was well, more than magnificent, then attacked the break himself, which was starting to disintegrate. Walter was struggling just a little bit, but the Hungarian champion has turned himself inside out throughout this race in the service of Vingago. No service required because Vingago ultimately was going to help himself here. Movistar were engaged in the chase. They still had designs for the overall, but Vingago, when he does go, there is no stopping him. It doesn't matter who's on his case. Enric Mas was trying to stay with him. Jonas Aguirre, who's won here before into Ibar and the race overall in the past, just could not follow. Valter was there offering up that back wheel assistance, maybe just a calming one, allowing him a few beats to kind of think about what he was going to do next. But as the kilometres started to disappear, so did Vingago. When he finally decided to attack, it was because he didn't like the company that was around him. Lander was isolated within this group. In fact, the entire group isolated by Vingago himself. Kicking on at a perfect time, taking the Itzua climb. And then, of course, it was a Category 3 left and a technical descent to the line. Would anyone be with him by the end was the question. And at this point, it looked like the answer was no. The Itzua at the top. The fans were there, mobbing the road, cheering him on every single one of them looking at him and not the camera. These are ultimate cycling fans. Well, Aguita was up front now, along with Izaguirre, Chavez and other notables that would be battling it out, potentially for podium place in the overall. But quite frankly, when Vingago is in this kind of form, there is no stopping him. Taking incredible risks to hold the margin of 44 seconds, he was to extend that, hitting every single one of the apexes absolutely beautifully. Well, the group behind were actually to reform and 12 riders who had an option at the end of the day, but they started to look at each other, realising there was no catching the man out front, the race leader. And so it was going to come down to how they would take the technical descent home and indeed who could find just margins, the handful of seconds required just to make a move, maybe into the top five, maybe onto the podium itself. As for Lander, well, he was being harried and bullied on occasion and he wasn't having any of it. And with 5.1 kilometres to go, Vingago was heading home. His maximum margin on the chase had been over a minute and a half. James Knox, though, started to dream and suddenly he realised if he had 10 seconds on those behind him, plus the six bonus seconds for finishing second on the day behind this man, maybe, maybe he'd get himself onto the podium. It was going to be a close call. Vingago, looking back, taking the time to enjoy, it already waved to his family. And the arms outstretched, another victory in his impressive career. So we then look back, who would cross the line second? James Knox, but to no avail in terms of the podium, unfortunately for him. Not enough margin, but behind, Igita going head-to-head -head with Izagiri, who crossed the line to make sure that he got what he required. And that was third place on the overall podium. Third on the day, behind Knox, and of course the winner, Vingago. He is our champion, taking the 62nd Tour of the Basque Country in stunning form. 
It bodes well for a great Tour de France challenge. Lander in second place, Jonas Aguirre nudging onto the podium, 10 seconds only from that coveted third place down to Simon Yates in ninth. It was close, but only for those behind this man. Jonas Vingergo, absolutely magnificent, a superb champion and a great one to watch for the remainder of the season. A thrilling race, the Tour of the Basque Country, as ever.